Hi guys, today what I have here is a an on O N N O N A thirteen A V two sixty nine wireless universal remote. So it takes two triple A batteries. Two triples. So we've got the power button up here. It supports up to eight different inputs, those being TV, cable, DVR, DVD, satellite, audio, auxiliary one and auxiliary two. And then you have your directional pad with your OK button in the middle, your yellow, blue, red, and green ABCD, volume, mute, recall, channel, then your uh, DVR, VCR controls, and then your uh, number pad. So, overall, very nice remote. Um, I can actually hold the setup button and then press the mute button and then press the volume up button. Okay, I take that back. Setup, input, mute, mute, and volume up, and that enables me to be able to, no matter what program I, or what input I'm on, I can adjust the television's volume. So, you have your guide button, input, info, and setup, mute list, and then the power button, very nice, big, bright, stands out. And then over here, there's a little LED. And um, it feels very nice in the hand. It, I mean, the plastic feels okay. I'm not going to say the plastic's great. Then again, it is an $8 remote. So... I mean, you sort of get what you pay for in a sense, but this is a great remote for the price. So if I pull out the manual here, I'll show you the boatload of codes that are on, that you can program into this, or have it find the, the code for you. All of these are codes. This is just an FCC statement, and then it just kind of goes woo, and it snakes around. It it's it's a big manual. Now the thing I have not figured out yet about this remote is, and I already called technical support about it. They're going to get back to me by morning. is the guide button has DVR list and setup has shift and info has menu underneath of it. I mean, I've tried a whole bunch of different combinations, so I'm starting to wonder if it varies by input. I don't know, but yeah, it's a very, very nice remote for the price. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.